So let's move on to the University of Pennsylvania study. Tavon, why don't you go ahead and tell us what it is that we'll be looking at. Okay, great. Uh, so what we're going to look at in this Pennsylvania University of Pennsylvania study is a, uh, another replication uh, from an earlier study that Wilhelm Reich did dealing with plant seedlings. Um, basically, similar to the RBT, uh, you take uh, some seedlings and compare to other seedlings in the control group in laboratory conditions and you basically, you know, these seedlings are watered regularly, but you put them in an organ accumulator and you basically observe their health, their, their growth, uh, the, you know, their growth, their health of, of the seedlings as they sprout. Um, and basically they drew a conclusion based on that, um, you, know, based, you know, basically that the organ accumulators do indeed channel energy. Um, they, you know, they, they call it, they actually call it cosmic energy, um, channel it, because how else are you going to describe this? Um, and, the, and, and the seedlings were able to grow from this. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and share with you that, that study. So again, this, uh, now this was found in the water, uh, water journal and it's an actual paper that you can download, but it's called the preliminary study of effects of, uh, Reich's organ accumulator on oat seed sprouting and the structure of water. So this, this, this particular study is, um, is remarkable because it's not only, um, describing organ energy and you're basically replicating the organ accumulator effects of the organ accumulator on seedlings but it's tying in structured water. Uh, some of you might be familiar with structured water it's basically this is a water that, that is at a higher energy more organized almost has a crystalline pattern because of its org uh, highly energetic structure. Um, it has remarkable effects blood cells are just living, living uh, creatures uh, they, they absorb the water more effectively uh, the water imparts more energy to the cells. Uh, it has, it's almost like a fountain of youth type of uh, water absorbing this energy. And so they're, they're tying this, uh, the effect, the, the orgone energy effect with actually changing the structure of the water that goes into the accumulator. So again, this, this is the abstract um, of, of this research at the University of Pennsylvania was they wanted to study the influence of Reich's organ accumulator or ORAC on water structure with the aim to explain the effect of ORAC on biological entities. Um, they, they use seed germination to quantify the effect of ORAC on biological substances. Uh, to study the effect of ORAC on water structure, they've analyzed 168 samples, half of which were controls. Um, we and they analyzed the samples using the capillary uh, delatometric method and found that the amount of structured water rose significantly if the samples were kept in ORAC. Now this is important because basically it's tying orgone energy directly to structuring water. Uh, so again, this could be applied to the technologies that have been a derivative from the orgone accumulators, including the organite composites that people are making uh, making today. Uh, so the structured water has greater biological activity, which can explain a positive effect on Reich's organ accumulator on the living subjects. So again, you can look at this paper um, and just continue. Uh, they just basically talk about the, uh, the, 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 the idea behind the study, um, uh, the claims that Reich made using uh, organ accumulators and its ability to, to, to treat wounds. Uh, wounds and uh, ulcers and all kinds of pains and, and other type of syndromes um, and even the claims of um, for the treatment of things like uh, um, osteoporosis and cancer which is I mean these are amazing claims and other maladies um, and so it goes on to what the claim benefits were based on what they were reading and wanted to demonstrate or at least replicate um, the effect of this energy on uh, structured water and in this, ta in this test um, oat seeds. So then they describe the chain what they used for an organ accumulator. Um, first they had a steel container with the seedlings in it and they put this container within a jacket of uh, like an, or an organ accumulator type jacket of steel and other layers. Um, and then they continue then they continue with the test um, and, and how they're able to uh, measure, do the measurements for the test. 
Uh, and then at, towards the conclusion, they basically share um, what they saw as far as the number of seeds germinated from the test experiment ORAC chamber versus the controls. Um, it's amazing. I mean, almost more than double the amount of seeds germinator, germinated. Um, the length of the, seed, of the sprouts were longer, longer sprouts within the accumulator. Uh, a, long, uh, a higher average root length of the sprouts. And, and it also goes on to, um, interesting, that the content of structured fraction. So they, they had some way of, um, and I think this would be more of the complex area of it, but they had some way of, of um, measuring the statistical ratio of structured water and, and that, was being, that was being analyzed um, in the control and experiment samples. So they saw an increase, basically they saw an increase of structured water inside the organ accumulator. And then you see a picture of the, of the sprouted seeds. Um, a, the, 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 first, the first one in, in slide A is the control seeds. And then in the slide B is the orgone charge seeds, the seeds that were sitting in the accumulator, and you can see the, you know, the dramatic difference. That it's amazing. Um, and then they drew conclusions um, about basically, yes, it, the, the orgone accumulator does indeed impart energy uh, into, into the water. Um, and, and basically, I think this research differs from what, in, on a more um, specific way, they're saying it's the water that's being charged. Not, it's not necessarily the energy going straight to the cellular structure of the plants. It's the water the plants are drinking that allows them to grow healthier and stronger and you know, larger. Uh, so, but what I thought was interesting was their concluding statement, and there's, there's a scientific uh, uh, journal here. The effect of organ accumulator as a concentrator of, get this, cosmic energy uh, is observed. And Reich's great achievement consists in the fact that he offered a device to accumulate the cosmic energy, which has a favorable effect on living organisms and ways of its useful application. And we're talking about cosmic energy, we're talking about open systems, you know, where we're in the sea of energy, environmental energy that's coming from space and the environment around us, and how these devices can be channeled to basically um, structure water and, and um, revitalize things like seedlings. So I thought this was a, uh, an amazing, uh, amazing study on, on uh, again, replicating accumulator, what organ accumulators are capable of doing, but also more importantly, this effect of this energy field being around these materials. And we can use that field, that, that form of energy, passively to, uh, to do things like structure water and, 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 and cause seeds to sprout healthier. And especially with, with things like crop losses now, uh, more than ever, we, could, we can use this kind of technology for, for uh, being able to uh, maintain our seeds. And uh, yeah. Thank you. So with this in mind, we have developed a product, uh, an organite charge plate that would help to do such things as structure your water, preserve your food, help you to sprout your seeds. So, Tavon, would you tell us a little bit about the organite charge plates, what they can be used for, and uh, of course, as with everything else, they are handmade, and we have some specials running as well. Yeah, sure. So we, um, we developed the uh, charge plates based on uh, you know, what, we, what we found was beneficial when we first started making the pen, uh, our pendants and sharing with our family and friends. And we wanted to make something uh, larger and do some experiments with uh, seeing if we can preserve food. In fact, one of the reasons why we made the charge plate was we had a problem with, um, because we're in, a, we're, we're in a hot climate and our, um, our food tends to, especially like the green, leafy green vegetables, tend to go off rather quickly, even if you have them in the fridge. They only last like three or four days. Um, so with, with these things, and we wanted to replicate some other experiments that others are doing, so we decided to take these materials and actually make a charge plate. So when we started making our own charge plate and putting it in our fridge, uh, t to our surprise, we're able to, to keep our lettuces uh, literally like another two weeks longer than what we expected them to last. Um, and we, we knew there, that's when we knew there was something to this. Other people who were uh, making organite type composites, orgone composites, harmonizers out of these plates, basically as resin material with these components inside, 
um, they were they're describing similar effects and, and we had to replicate it and and we started we decided to go with powders in addition to that we already started researching what shungite is and what it's able to do as far as transforming harmful fields in the environment and so we added shungite to all of our plates and um, so we're using our plates to preserve the, um, the, the the fruits and vegetables and the meat in our fridge also the drinks also we have a plate in our freezer to structure the ice and, and to keep things um, to have a field in there also be aware that based on what I just described what an orgone accumulator is your refrigerator at some level is already has an accumulator type property to it because it you know basically it's a metal frame lined with plastic on the inside and probably on the outside as well so it already has a preservation type of property to it but by putting uh, uh, you know, a, a harmonizer like one of our plates in there um, or some type of organite device inside the fridge and in the freezer it doesn't have to be ours but you basically amplify that food preservation aspect also your drinks will, 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 will preserve, you'll find your milk um, and your drinks will preserve longer also outside of the fridge you can have it sit, you can have these plates sitting kind of like a nice decoration piece in your living room or on your kitchen um, uh, with your bowl of fruits and vegetables on top of it. Again, there are experiments you can see online where people have taken lemons and tomatoes and put them on their charge plate and, and with the 30-day test and you know with, with the same fruit or vegetable and on, on a glass jar somewhere else and then within 30 days the one that's on the plate seems to fare better than the one that's not on the plate which is all slimy, moldy and you know what have you. So, Again, yeah, these plates have, um, they serve all kinds of purposes, but we use it mainly for food preservation, but again, like some of our other products, if you want, you can have it, if you're not feeling well, if you want to have a better night's sleep, you can have it on the bed with you, um, and because what's happening is that, again, these harmful fields, these high frequency fields that would, would otherwise um, pass all around you and your body, some of that gets absorbed and transformed with the plate, so by having this plate on you or near you, you feel some of that effect, you feel a relaxed, calming effect. It's like your body, a burden's been taken off of your body. So that's what we're offering.